and you can delete information. So this would delete the information about uh, John Smith, and this would delete everything. Delete star, the asterisk means everything. And the way you put these to use is simple. Once you understand SQL, it's very simple to, in, to, to do all this. All you need to do is download that MySQL module, make sure that it's uh, run, make sure the module is done, um, and then you use this format. And you just insert into an open DB connection, like you've seen earlier. We open the DB connection, then you put in um, curly brackets in any, maybe any, any uh, length uh, the SQL command. So all these commands that you've seen so far. Um, and what happens is, for example, the select statement will return data. The way we re we uh, retrieve those results is by using uh, the word copy on that database, con database connection. So first we insert into that database connection an SQL command. If there, if there is data to be gotten, we get that by using the copy command. We can also um, use the uh, first, second, third, fourth words or use slash, uh, slash symbols and so forth. Uh, we can use uh, this part refinement to refer to uh, a certain portion. This gets the first three records from the result. And when we're done with that DB connection, uh, we close it. Again, that can be any variable. We can assign the word open connection, for example, to uh, a database. So here's the, uh, a full example. Uh, we need to do the MySQL protocol. We need to have it on our hard drive. Or, for example, we could embed it in a uh, program using the binary embedder. We could download it from a website. But we somehow need to download that module and, and do it. Uh, then we need to open a connection. Uh, we've created the test uh, database. So we're going to change that. Um, in these cases, we're going to insert this uh, information. We're going to create a table called contacts and insert some info. We've actually already done that. This is going to give us an error because that already exists. We did that earlier in the tutorial. And into that database connection, which is already open, um, and into uh, the contacts table, we insert these values. And this does the same thing that we can do with an online uh, manager of that of that data. Uh, if we actually look at that now, if we look at the uh, PHP My Admin program, and we click on the, uh, the that particular database, uh, and if we browse it, we're going to see that it contains. Um, all the information. This is actually happening live and it's working with this database. And that information has been inserted. Um, now we can put to that database, we have a, a context table. And what we're going to do is delete one of those items, paste that into Rebel. And we'll see that none is just a return value. Nothing, nothing has been returned. If there was an error, we would have gotten the error returned. If we, if we do this again and click on the contacts database and we browse it, we'll see that one of those names has been deleted by that command. Print it. We can use a select command. Select everything from contacts. Um, again, we're just using this insert DB to send SQL uh, statements uh, functions to the uh, to the open database. And here we're going to copy the results of that select statement into a variable we call results. And then we're going to probe or print the results. And so in this case, again, we could we could put those results into a GUI. We could put them into a a text list, and here they're printed. So now whenever 
we want to see those results, we can use that variable uh, and work with um, uh, that information in regular rebel block format and do all the normal things we can do with uh, uh, rebel blocks. Uh, when you're done, you want to close the DB. In this case, it would halt the program. Um, but the real power of this is the fact that you can um, use a database, and MySQL is capable of many millions of uh, operations and many, many millions of, of uh, um, records. Um, it can handle very, very large, large loads like that, and you can uh, have a program and have thousands of people accessing this data and altering this data all at the same time. And, and MySQL won't falter for a second; it'll um, let you deal with that that data without interruption. You don't have to know how to do anything except connect to it and retrieve some information or save some information and. Um, makes it very, very simple to deal with enormous workloads like that. Um, you just need to learn a little bit of a little bit of SQL to to add and remove data from those uh, uh, from that database. There's also a short format here that you can use. You can open up the a SQL connection and send it a uh, send it a um, SQL command all on one line. Uh, you could, for example, use this um, in a for each. Uh, function we can go through and read each row that's returned from that uh, select statement connect to the database all in one one line and then print each row or for example put it into a GUI or uh, search and sort it in, in another way uh, this is a, an example of a of a GUI that does just that it opens a connection uh, called DB um, it gets all that information from contacts, co copies it into a results variable, and then we create a GUI and uses a text list uh, for which the, the data that's going to be shown is uh, that, that data that's been selected from contacts. And um, in, uh, in this case, we're going to rejoin all those uh, bits of information that that are included in that in that list when the text list is click, clicked on um, when the item in the list is clicked it's going to display its data in a little text area so what's going to happen is we're going to rejoin that all that information into a string and create a new little layout here and put that string into a GUI area widget and um, eventually when that is all done when the low layout is done we're going to close the DB. Um, in order to demonstrate this, we need to make one little change because we actually called our database uh, test. So, editor none, so we can do this in interactive mode. And paste it in, and we'll change this one little bit. Say test, that's the name of the data, database that we created. Press F5, and um, it will run. And here we go. We've got a database. We've got a GUI with a text list. It has all of those, all those names. We click on it. We get the, we um, get the uh, information for each of those names. So. You can work with data that comes from these uh, these MySQL data databases just like you would uh, with any other data that you could use in Rebel. And MySQL databases can store um, uh, binary uh, binary information and all sorts of other information.